And we have Eradicator. Calling spell against Runic is way too good. <laughs> There's the surrender. We got an announcement recently about the next ban list in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, and while there were some questionable changes, <laughs> one change that I love to see was Metaverse going to two. This makes Lair of Darkness way better because Metaverse now works with Trap Trick. For example, if you have Lilith and activate her search ability, it guarantees that you can get your lair on board by selecting both copies of Metaverse and a trap trick. I have been thinking about making a tips and tricks video for Lair of Darkness, kind of like I did with my Crusadia and Dinosaur guides, but they are a ton of work. So if you do want that, please feed the algorithm and let me know in the comments. In the meantime, here's some lair gameplay that I've been sitting on. Enjoy. Lair of Darkness on the draw. And we are up against Blue Eyes, White Dragon. So they search Alternative and Jet. Search an OG Blue Eyes. And play a Vision with Eyes of Blue. Okay, haven't seen that in a while. Or don't often see it anyway. We draw a Lair of Darkness. Play Arima, bait the Ash. They don't have one. So we're going to go ahead and play our Field Spell. Summon Lilith and play Ties of the Brethren. Super strong card in this deck, and you'll see just why right now. So we can summon an Alice and a Sangan. Sangan can search so many different cards in our deck. So we're going to go ahead and use Lilith, tribute their alternative, find an Eradicator or a Trap Trick, and then pass turn. Uh, we did not swing in because Ties of the Brethren restricts you from uh, your battle phase. And they go for Raigeki. So in response to the Raigeki, we are going to go ahead and tribute our Sangan. Search for some more trap cards. Find a back to the front. And Sangan resolves. As well as our Alice. So because cards were destroyed, they can summon their jet. And we activate Trap Trick. So we have quite the little chain going here. Activate Search Eradicator. And Sangan can actually search Ash Blossom, which is kind of crazy that you can do that. Um, if you wanted to be really, really mean, you could play Maxi. I don't play Maxi because I don't like it. I don't think it's very fun. Um, but is also an option that you can literally search with Sangan in this deck. So uh, there is that. And then we can Eradicator their Blue Eyes Jet, call spells, destroy two. And all they have <laughs> is two OG Blue Eyes and they scoop it up. Nice. All right, Lair going first. So we go Tour Guide, summon an Alice, and they go Dimension Shifter. So, um, probably thinking like Flu or something. We discard Arima, which gets banished, but that lets us find our Lair of Darkness, and we set up a bunch of cards the past turn. Alrighty. What do they got? Uh, Exosister, okay. Cool. So we're gonna tribute it and destroy their face down with uh, Ballista Squad. Cool, cool. And end of turn, go Trap Trick, set our Eradicator past turn. Give him a token, because we tributed a monster. Draw Super Poly, which is not great, because we don't have a card to uh, discard. But we can use Lilith to get rid of the token and summon our own after swinging in to deal some damage. All right, and there is the evenly matched. Oh man, evenly is so rough against this deck. So it definitely is a blowout. Which, by the way, uh, if you don't know, I had to keep the token. I did not choose to keep the token. Um, for whatever reason, that's how evenly matched actually works. Um, because we can't banish the token face down, that means we have to choose to keep the token and banish everything else. So, uh, pretty rough. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. So, they're going to do some Exosister shenanigans. And we set Super Poly Pass, I guess. <laughs> uh, this one is a warrior. And then they summon the Spellcaster. So, we go Super Poly, Mud Dragon of the Swamp. And they pass turn. They don't have anything in their hand. 
Lilith. Okay. We're going to go for a dark. The dark charmer, Gloomy. And we can actually summon their dimension shifter in order to swing in for the win here. So pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Managed to play through an evenly matched after keeping only a token. <laughs> oh, GG's. Lair of Darkness. On the draw this time. And up against Dragon Maids. Alrighty. And they got nothing. Oh, that's rough. Well, that's fine. Uh, we have Ties of the Brethren. And we wanted to bait the Ash, but they have a Maxi. Which again, not really going to matter. They're only going to draw the one card. We do summon two monsters, but the summon is simultaneous. So uh, Maxi only sees a, a single summon, so they only get a single draw. Um, and now we can go Lilith. Go ahead and tribute their monster this time. Search for Trap Trick or Eradicator. And uh, I don't swing in because when you play Ties, you can't go to battle. Um, so now they can finally do some things. And in response, we're going to go Trap Trick. Set everyone's favorite Eradicator Epidemic Virus. And they go ahead and Fusion Summon for Shio. Which does not matter, because we're just going to tribute it for Eradicator, call spell, destroy two more cards. Oh, that feels so bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame them at all. <laughs> GG's. Lair. Going first again. Arima, search Lair, and they go Numeron Wall. Alright. Doesn't very much matter to me. Tour Guide out Lilith. She is negated, but we can still tribute as a cost. And they summon all of their uh, their Numeron gates. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We can eradicate her in response, save our life, destroy th <laughs> destroy four cards actually. Their uh, their their field spell, and then three cards in their hand. So it seems like they are all in on the Numeron plan. <laughs> Swing in for fun, I guess. <laughs> There's a bamboo sword that gets destroyed. They got nothing. Back to the front. Ahrima. And we just have another Eradicator. If they do manage to get their uh, their Numeron stuff down. Tribute. Summon or uh, search Alice. Summon Alice. Bring back Lilith. Seems, seems pretty good. <laughs> we already used Lair's uh, effect to tribute an opponent's monster. And that is another hit off the Eradicator. They scoop it up. GG's. Alrighty. Lair of Darkness on the play. So we have Lilith and Ties of the Brethren. So we're going to summon Sangan and Alice. We're going to tribute the Sangan. Try to find Metaverse, but fail. Uh, because Metaverse is only at... Uh, one in this game. If it was at two, we'd be able to search two metaverse and a trap trick and then guarantee that we get into Lair of Darkness. Uh, but at least at the time of recording, it is only at one. So unfortunate. Sangan also going to search Ash Blossom so we have some interaction. All right. And what does our opponent have? Pot of Prosperity. So they banish three, reveal a heavenly prison and two floodgates. So it looks like they are floodgate tribal. Uh, they go Heavenly Prison and set four cards. Okay, so Cosmic Cyclone um, targeting our back to the front. So in response, we're just going to summon Zangan, because might as well. Right? Uh, don't want it to get banished for no reason. And because we activated a card, we can go Heavenly Prison, set our Metaverse so we can guarantee our Lair of Darkness. And we Tribute Alice. Um, we find Heavy Storm Duster. Alice is going to add another Lady of Lament and Trap Trick for Eradicator because we know they're a, a Floodgate deck, so we're just going to pick Trap and try to destroy them. Um, Dogmatica Punishment in response. <laughs> okay, so this chain is really big. Let's just let this go. All right, so, so they flip a ton of things. Um, Dogmatica Punishment trying to destroy our Lilith. Okay. In response, we're going to activate the Lilith, tribute our Sangan. In response, they're like, no, we have Skill Drain. Okay, well, I'm going to try to activate uh, Lair of Darkness from our deck. They say, no, we also have Anti-Spell. So, 
Um, anti-spell means our spell cards have to stay face down for a whole turn cycle before we can activate them, so we can't activate it with our metaverse. Um, unfortunate, but fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, what I should have done here, now that I'm thinking about it, is use Heavy Storm Duster, because Heavenly Prison only protects their set cards from being destroyed. Um, and I had it in my head, I think, that all of their cards were protected because they had Heavenly Prison revealed, but that's not actually true. Um, or I could have just tried to go for Eradicator, Call Trap, and win the game right there. Um, but that's okay. So, all of that resolves. And Sangan, their Ince is going to try to destroy our Eradicator. Um, and then I'm thinking, they actually only have 6,000 life points, so I don't really need uh, Eradicator to win the game right now. Uh, because I have Darkest Diabolos in my hand, and we tributed our Sangin, we can summon it right away. And they try to summon their Heavenly Prison, set a Solemn, which doesn't matter. And we get a uh, Tour Guide. So, now, we activate Heavy Storm Duster, destroy both of those, summon a uh, Malice, and activate Lair of Darkness. Malice is going to tribute their monster and ours. And then we can just switch into attack mode and swing in for 6k. Because they're floodgates, they're not going to play like battle traps. And they scoop it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you made it this far, please leave a like for the algorithm. And I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next one.